So we're in the uh, Company of England style Manny to Alardi today, who's going to tell us a little bit first up about uh, Rugby Rocks. So do you want to start off, tell us a little bit about the event? Um, you know, obviously Rugby Rocks, obviously it's going to be um, a lot of rugby, a lot of uh, exciting rugby and uh, there's going to be a lot of music um, and obviously it's going to be a massive party afterwards and uh, unfortunately I can't, I can't, I would love to be there but, you know, um, I can't. Bit of a shame you're missing out because obviously rugby and music, two things that go hand in hand. Yeah, definitely. I love music and uh, obviously I, I, I love rugby. And, uh, you know, just the form not being there is, uh, it kills me, mate. Right? Oh, we hear um, Ollie Barkley is actually going to be DJing. Have you heard him give it a go? Oh, really? Yeah, apparently so. Oh, I've not heard him before. Um, I don't know. Um, I mean, I only know um, uh, DJ Shape. Um, and he, he's pretty good. Is he going as well? I'm not sure about Shantane. I mean, oh, you should get him down, mate. We've, we've got a couple of videos of uh, Shantane obviously doing his stuff, DJing. We've got uh, Alex rapping as well, is there? Definitely should get Alex England down. Are they, are they quite into their music then? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, Corbus Sierra is a great rapper. Um, obviously, his, his idol is uh, Eminem, you know? Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, you should get him down. And obviously, Flutie. I don't know about <laughs> <laughs> Is there a, bit, a fair bit of banter then going around the England squad when these guys are, are seen doing their stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. Obviously, there's a, there's a lot of mixture in the squad. Um, you know, it's, it's exciting and obviously a bit of banter as well, so so good. And obviously, just away from the, the music and everything else, let's get back to rugby. Uh, obviously, a brilliant season for Leicester so far. Um, sort of, you've come back from the Six Nations and played a big part in it. Uh, how do you feel it's been going? Um, obviously, you know, the way we... We're playing at the minute, you know, we're playing really well. Um, obviously looking to continue that to the to the end of the season and hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get through the uh, the semi finals and uh, um, obviously we had a, a slow start, you know, with the with the players away in the World Cup. Uh, you know, um, everyone wrote us off but um, you know, now we're back on the road. It just show um, just shows uh, you know, the, the, the death of the squad we got. As a sort of youngster in the squad, one of the younger guys compared to the other guys, they haven't really been through it before. How is it exciting to think that you could be going towards a Premiership final? Oh, really exciting, you know. Um, uh, just, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to get too excited, yeah. you know. Just, um, just in case you don't get there. But um, obviously, the the aim is just, um, just take it game by game, and um, hopefully you'll get there. I say is the self belief like really there in this Leicester team this year as well? Definitely, you know, um really we have a really good squad, um, you know, quality players and uh, you know we just have to we just have to, you know, to concentrate on ourselves and and uh, get putting the, the performance out there. And then of course it's gonna be a massive summer for you travelling out to South Africa with England with any luck. Um, don't know that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully though, with any luck you'll be out there. Yeah, hope uh, you're looking forward to it, uh, if you do get selected, a chance to play in South Africa? Oh you know, definitely it'll be it'll be amazing if I uh, if I get selected in the in the England England team again and uh, uh, hopefully um, go out in South Africa and uh, uh, you know, obviously it'll be a massive challenge, you know, the, the Springbok and the free test. So, um, you know, for me, I'm just focusing on the Premiership right now. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully we'll get there. I mean, with any luck as well, if you do get selected, you'll be working with Stuart Lancaster again, who obviously quite a successful Six Nations, really, for the new team that he put together. And are you excited to be part of that sort of like new group that he's, he's put together? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think, you know, Stuart, I've done the... A really good job, you know. He came in to 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 coach for the for the Six Nations, and uh, congratulations to him for the you know, for 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 the, for the job that he's got for for England now. And um, so, you know, hopefully we get a chance again to to work with him, and uh, uh, and hopefully um, Mike Cat's gone in as well. So um, it'll be it'll be an honour if I, if I get a chance. Because it's kind of it feels like it's kind of a new breed of players are coming in. Everyone's quite young and everyone's sort of buzzing off each other. Does that make it exciting for yourself and for everyone around you? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, there's a lot of uh, young talents around. You know, a lot of players just 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 want to get out there. Just want to get a chance to you know to prove ourselves and to, to go out there and throw the ball around and, um, and you know play some good rugby. Uh, obviously, out at the World Cup. 
Um, your brother was obviously playing for Samoa. Yeah. Uh, what was it like to be in the same country but playing for different teams? Is it, is it <laughs> plenty of banter flying around between you two? Yeah, definitely. Uh, obviously, um, you know, all the, the, the England boys is like, um, what happens if uh, if we come up to for playing start more and the, if we get to the quarter yeah, or yeah. something like that? And uh, they were saying, no, you're gonna you're gonna smash him or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, yeah, you know, it's really you know it's really good for you know for us to you know being there. You know, I went and seen him uh, a couple of times when in New Zealand. So it's really. It's really nice to, to have one of your family in the, in the competition together. One thing we've in England, Scott, there's a fair couple of guys with pretty serious tattoos going down now. You've got one yourself. Can you tell us a little bit about, is it a special small one that you've got? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Um, this is a tradition. Um, Sam one tattoo. He, he tells the story of the, our heritage. And, uh, you know, if you really want to get it, you've got to be, you're gonna have to handle the pain. It's not... It's, it, we do it the tradition way, which you have to... Is it with whale pain? Yeah, and um, I tell you, it's, it's hundred more painful than the gun, <laughs> trust me. How long did it take to get to do it? Uh, it took 14 hours. I did it in two sittings, so seven hours is, is painful. <laughs>